Hello everybody, this is The Roving Reporter and today I would like to share with you a quick overview of Jamboard. Some of you may know Jamboard already, but those of you who are not familiar, I wanted to do this to kind of introduce you to some of the features. So I created this board using Google Jamboard uh, to show you what uh, is available there for you, um, what you can do with this. So I think as I wanted to stress here, it's, a, it's an open opportunity for you to get students to do what we call visual note taking. And it gets them to look at everything from a totally visual perspective, of course, using text, aligning with images, with shapes, and so on. So what I did, I used some of the features which are available on the left here, on the board already. So I used most of the shapes which are here, right? And you can click and edit these shapes. Okay. So I can change the shapes I have available. Circle, half circle, uh, squares. You can do rounded squares, so on. And all of this is added here, as I just wanted to demonstrate. The text can come in very, very form. So text can be either display, title, subtitles, normal, or caption forms. You can change the color. And you can also align them you know, to the left, center, or to the right. Uh, what I also put here, with, which I find really wonderful about Google Jamboard, are the sticky notes, which are here. And you have this array of colors you can type in. But I did this already to demonstrate to you what are some ideas you can do with this, these uh, sticky notes. So you can put students' ideas. You can work on affixes, prefixes, and suffixes. You can put sentences, you know, one part of sentences together and then put that get them to join those sentences and do some matching you can use these as prompts you can work with color coding for them to identify certain elements in your lesson and so on and so on right so and the final tool i think would be very very important for us of course is this which are the images which when i go here i can add on images from Google Image itself, I can upload my own image if I want to, from Google Drive or from Google Photos, you decide, of course. So there you have it. I can even take my own camera and take a picture of myself and maybe upload to my Jamboard. So I wanted to share this quick demonstration with you of what Jamboard is. Um, you can use this with your students. I think it's very, very useful. And you get students to edit the Jamboard as well, which is great because as you go across here, like all of the Google Suite, I can um, make this editable and collaborative. So I can share with students, giving them the link, as it says here, anyone with the link can edit. So I can share this link or I can send it to them via email and they can come in and add the ideas before the lesson, after the lesson, it can be an ongoing process, which is wonderful. Also, you can add more frames. So this board, as you see, it's called a frame. So I can add more frames. Uh, I have up to 20 frames, which I can put. I can also change the background of my frame. I'm using the black, typical classical default, but I have other formats like this, right? I have others. We can change. I'm using an image in the background, so you can't see the change in the color. But you can also do that. You can also upload your own image if you want to to work on whatever aspect of you know the class that you're focusing on at the time. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was useful. Let me know how you're doing your Jamboards, and I, I'm going to set up a, a set of Jamboard templates that I'm going to make available to all of you. So let me know if you want any specific Jamboard template that you think might be useful for your classes. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.